Let's talk Second about. Try. I know. What are, we, what are we talking about? Let's football. talk about the fucking football. Let's. I'm sick of it. Last night, people just screaming. And I tell you, the other day, I was at Paddington Station. Paddington train station. Other train stations are available. I was at Paddington Station, yeah, eating wasabi. Other Western Japanese dishes are available. But I was eating wasabi, yeah, and I was with my partner. And not actual wasabi. It's like, you know. Fake like, wasabi, I was going to say. No, I wasn't just sitting there eating like buckets of wasabi. It's like I was having a rice fake no, chicken katsu, I, vegan katsu dish But I thing. heard the other day that most wasabi in Britain isn't real wasabi. No, it's horseradish. And that just breaks my heart. So I thought <laughs> I liked wasabi, but it turns out I don't even, I couldn't pick real wasabi out of a bush, wherever you grow it. It grows in water, doesn't it? Does it in grow in the ground? In a stream. My God, we're so fucking ignorant. I don't know. And like, I love Japanese culture. You're the best bet. You're like, out of all my mates who I thought, oh, I'll do a podcast with, you know, I went for a list and I thought, Rob, he's charismatic, he's smarter than me, which I don't say lightly because I think that I am smarter than everyone. I feel like we're smart in very different ways. No, I'm pretty sure wasabi grows in streams. It's like We're coming across so fucking ignorant right now. There's going to be so many comics like, well, actually. I don't know. I don't cultivate it. It doesn't really grow in my country. <laughs> Oh yeah, we like we're none the wiser. It's okay to be ignorant in this instance. But anyway, so I was eating so some niche. vegan chicken katsu like thing that they have at wasabi. It was very nice, a good eight out of ten. I would order it again. And there's directly opposite a Sainsbury's, and I was just looking at the Sainsbury's, and suddenly there are screams, not screams of happiness or just like blood curdling, like ah screams. And some man walks out of the Sainsbury's. He looks to his uh, that way. What's that? Left, right. He looks to his right looks shocked and pegs it, like runs out the station full pelt. So I immediately, you're in a train station, you're in London, I immediately just think, oh, okay, someone's just coming with a machete. You know, it's standard Tuesday thing. So I get up and like grab my suitcase because I had a suit. No, I didn't have a suitcase. That was a different day. I had a laptop bag. So I, you know, picked that up and everyone's looking shocked. This all happens within the space of like five, five seconds. Everyone's looking shocked and scared. Like, oh, what should we do? Like, you know, because they're screaming and someone's just ran out of a fucking train station, a populated train station because Paddington's well busy all the time. And then some man just goes, oh, don't worry. It's just the football. The, 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 there was just a near miss. People like... What do you mean? It was just that the people... man ran off. What was he running to... <laughs> well, he heard the screams and thought, fuck this. I'm out of here just in case. Um... No, but that's ridiculous. They should ban football from train stations. That's how you cause a stampede. You know, like a few years ago, there was some sort of, um, oh, this is getting like just a bit too dark and edgy already. In Oxford Circus, there was like a, a terror scare a few Christmases ago and Ollie Murs got stuck inside. It was fine. Right, I'm laughing because it was fine. Right? Ollie Murs got stuck inside some sort of Debenhams and he was tweeting, being like, oh my God, there's a terrorist attack happening. Was it like that episode of Friends where Chandler gets stuck in the... No, it's the opposite of Friends, where, like, a car backfires. <laughs> and ah. Ross is like, we almost died. Ollie Murs in, like, in like a Debenham is, tw like, live tweeting, which is making the situation worse. And they had to evacuate all of Oxford Circus. And what had actually transpired, I believe, is someone pushed someone over at the train station and they had like a little fisticuffs and it got turned into oh there are people with guns uh there's gonna be a terrorist attack yada yada like total pandemonium so because of those reasons you shouldn't have football playing at train stations or indeed anywhere in public anywhere just in the privacy of your home like oh, actually no not even that you know yeah, i don't even... i don't mind what you watch in the privacy of your own home but certainly don't 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 do football out in public no you're not because i have to be there sometimes you're not even fucking safe at home last night people screaming and cars going by honking their horns being like england england when did shut up when did they play against the ukraine that was the other day um, and i was i was on the i don't care yeah but i was on the tube and they were just sweaty guys in capes like england capes capes yeah, yeah, they tied it around their neck like a wait, wait, child what? with a... The flag the, tied around... The, yeah. The same people who will be like, you know, you've got to respect the flag. <laughs> tied it's around just, their neck and use it as a cape, on, like a Noel Fielding on their, character. On their back sweat, wandering down the train carriage, yelling. <laughs> and everyone just didn't quite know what to do. There was quite a lot of them. They got off and everyone kind of looked at one another. And I was just, calm it down, boys. You beat Ukraine. I could beat Ukraine. You can't say that. My Ukrainian <laughs> audience is going to get well annoyed at you saying that, that you're better than the entirety of Ukraine at football. 